It's one of the most popular and loved languages on this planet, according to Microsoft. I am ready. Microsoft job, I mean, C sharp. Yeah, I've been struggling to keep track whether C sharp is cross platform or not, but I figured it has always been more cross platform than anything because you can always write your own common language runtime and not get sued. It's 2022. Microsoft is different now. Object oriented and declarative and functional. Well, .NET framework is more than just C sharp. You can even create your own language on top of it, but nothing beats C sharp. Tweaks and changes and changes on top of changes and changes on top of those changes. That was decades ago. One decade ago. C Sharp is different now. C Sharp has always been cross-platform since April 2016. C Sharp has always been open source since 2014. Why would you let the community contribute on something so perfect and evolving? C Sharp, Microsoft. C Sharp isn't just C Sharp, it's a whole suit of tools. Visual Studio, Corporate, .NET. How do people even write code without Visual Studio? Well, C Sharp and .NET are separable, JK. .NET Core, .NET Framework, .NET Micro Framework, .NET Compact Framework, .NET Micro Compact Framework, .NET Standard, .NET Native, .NET Mobile, .NET Mobile Native, ASP.NET, ASP.NET Core, .NET, .NET Core, .NET 5. All languages have a similar learning curve, except for C Sharp. It first goes exponentially up, 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 and then it stays constant. While well, Microsoft is extending the tail with new features. What is the nullability operator even for? Extremely popular. Skype.net, Skynet.net Core 1, 2, 3 to the 4, 3.1. Version 5 will be called .NET 5. Common language runtime. Common as in popular. Oh, you like Unity? Well, that means you like C Sharp. <laughs> yes, you like C Sharp. I'll be in the studio, the visual studio. C Sharp is not popular? Who said it's not popular? A comment from 2015. No, 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 no. No, C Sharp has what we call a second mover advantage. Great community of experts, consultants, expensive consultants. ASP.NET is the second most liked web application framework after all, according to Microsoft. Or which one is number one? ASP.NET Core. Extremely popular among devs, super scalable. C Sharp makes you marketable in the marketplace. It's not just marketing. Look at all the opportunities for C Sharp devs out there. You don't learn C Sharp to have fun. You learn it to make money, to use that money, to spend time having fun learning C Sharp, to make more money. Uh, let's uncover a great myth here. C Sharp isn't just used for game dev. You can do a lot of other things in Unity. I am sponsored, by, I mean, not sponsored by uh, Microsoft. As I was saying, the survey isn't biased by vendor login. C Sharp isn't just Microsoft since a long time. There's Xamarin, Mono, both bought by Microsoft, but you can do so much more uh, with C Sharp. If you're interested in VR, C Sharp got you covered there. There's, for example, the HoloLens, inline assembly. C Sharp wasn't just born out of a lawsuit. Implicit types, anonymous functions, abstract partial class, link, unary plus, link, C sharp mascot Andy, dot net mascot, dot net bot, malware mascot, dot net bot net. No, it always comes with the installation. And these are the secret commands if you want to go next level. Yield, fix, unsafe context, implicit, unchecked, volatile, fixed, stack a lock, make ref, go to, go to. They're not just adding random stuff no one asked for. I asked for it. No one asked me. Now C++ is a waste of time. Was that a C dev out there? Faster than anything that is not compiled. Strongly typed. 
strongly the chance to build stable and secure apps is bigger it's a chance not a guarantee java and c sharp are totally different things in java it's called jvm in c sharp it's called clr in java it's called java ee in c sharp it's called asp.net or asp.net core no competitor has this are you bought let's talk about azure azure pipeline microsoft java i mean c sharp it was mutual stealing copying inspirationing var dynamic types they even changed the switch statement why it's memory safe due to the garbage collector but it's still possible to work unsafe it's like ice hockey you're wearing the gloves but you can always take them off and make the context unsafe and that's where the real fun begins yeah you can use pointers but why why would anyone null nullable null able we always import system first always system first i don't really know why implicit using having a function having class having named space having a runtime having to run somewhere during a meeting oh yes sorry boss was calling what were we c sharp innovation azure are you bought the default skeleton is not the same and that's how the court ruled everything you would expect in a modern flexible well-developed language it's like the default language get set jet set native versus just in time c sharp does both but not in a good way anonymous functions it's like they stole from java and javascript that wasn't a legal statement no but on a serious note a way async was c sharp first it does not allow us to perform unsafe cast mm -mm. reference types are initialized to null and value types are initialized to zero automatically not to some arbitrary number that was floating around in ram like in c plus plus or c Psh, was that a c dev out there again how did they make it into this building i thought we were c sharp only they have glasses vbnet components can directly be used in c sharp we just awarded an abundance of project managers the title of programmer oh man c sharp is like java on steroids c on steroids .NET 6 is like .NET 5 on steroids these are actually fake teeth too much syntax sugar <laughs> here is something that will buy you in by buy you in i mean convince unbiased on this chair is not microsoft quality here is something that will buy you in there are different ways to check for nullability why hardly anybody will claim that java or c sharp are revolutionary programming languages that change the way we do things nobody ever c sharp is the greatest microsoft oh, we had that already the lts is three years now people cannot explain to their clients that they have to modernize their software every three years i can i can symbol soup uh just chiming in to say that i really like the new nullability operator and i really like to use it Whew. well that wasn't that hard a couple of lies here and there huh so first windows form was supposed to be the go-to client gui framework for all platforms then they came up with web forms for the web mvc some used jtk sharp on linux others kept their sanity win forms was too heavy on mobiles so then they came up with silverlight then there was the whole stuff with html js i still don't get it now we're back at windows forms and wpf and uwp and wpf and uwp and for cross-platform we have xamarin forms or how it's called dotnet maui and of course mono's incomplete implementation of win forms yeah whatever they're doing everybody must download and install the huge dotnet runtime it's a form of commitment to mic i mean to dot net cil bytecode is easy to reverse engineer well, then we're basically giving you the code open source for free how nice of us dotnet framework is going to be supported for years to come it will never die there's still people in remote parts of the world in i don't know whatever that still haven't heard of dotnet core or dotnet 5 or windows edge or firefox it's not the only one with cluttered syntax remember there's still javascript why java developers wear glasses although they can't see out of their eyes maybe they can use console to read lines cut the recording we ready all right i'm so ready come in see this bite me int 
erupt. <laughs> Return to sender. Volatile personality. Unsafe at any speed. Go to, uh, oh, that's actually my code. I'll check this, check this. Check this, restoring packages for a solution. This can, this can take a while. I mean, if you have time the whole day, we can packages successfully restored. All right, now let's crunch this and targeting.net 6 and Visual Studio. See, that's what I mean. Well, it's good they don't send the crash reports. Instance of Analyzer, Microsoft extensions. What are we doing here? Built 24 errors. Take a break. Was that a CDF again? I actually really like the new nullability operator. The one of uh, one in a million. Woo! Can I try something? Woo! Just use something that isn't supported in C Sharp and it will suddenly be supported before you know. It's like they're sending your code in the crash reports.